Oh, hello. I'm back, your non-beauty expert, your salt of the earth makeup user. I had so much fun with the first challenge. Uh, so today we're going to explore three Latina owned makeup lines that you have to get online. Let's see me infuriate commenters with these products. Use a wet beauty blender. I've heard this from you guys and I will try to remember that. So the first one, we're gonna try, is Besame Cosmetics which is a beautiful like vintage style line by Gabriela Hernandez. We're gonna begin with the cashmere foundation stick. Besame. Ooh, ooh, I already think it's a decent color. I rarely put on full foundation, as we learned from the other video where I felt like a doll. Let's give this a try. Is I'm supposed to wet my beauty blender? Y'all better be right about this. I want that. Never touched by the sun or the hardships of life look. Feels moisturizing, it feels very soft, not very cakey. I would not use it. It's not a great review. It is good, it's good. Brightening vanilla rose powder. Also, rose is very in right now. Even I know that, which means it's really in. Another cute little one of these things, the size of a Cricut's pancake. Oh God, it smells good. It smells like rose. Is it supposed to just go under the eyes? Brightening, I guess, means like around the eyes. Whoops. Oh well, we brightened everything. Does it have much an effect? I can't tell. Not against it. Another review from Claudia. Not against it. This is mascara cake. So basically cosmetics is all about not just their vintage packaging and look, but literally vintage products. I have never used mascara in a cake. So we get it wet. I feel like I'm about to shine a shoe. You guys shine a shoe? Wow, I mean, heck okay, yeah, looks like mascara. Here's my question, this is lovely. Why would you use it over regular mascara that comes in like a little stick? For the fun, or if you really think the texture is that much better? Get up in there with that B cam. With these brows, I can make a mean martini for my husband, but I'm also the only woman in my med school class, and I passed all my practicums. Next, Reina Rebelde. According to the internet, Reina Rebelde is owned by Regina Nerson. On your face contour color trio. It looks beautiful. We have our contour, our blush, our highlight. I'm gonna contour down here. Ooh, ooh, oh that's nice. Wow, I almost, I don't know why I didn't expect that to kind of do so well. I, I think that does what it's supposed to. And then the highlight. Uh-huh, down the nose. On the chin, it's, it's a highlighter. Do we also need blush? Yeah? All right, D okay, it does add up. Makes me look a little more alive. This was nice. Would I put this in my purse and feel confident that I have all the things I need to contour, blush, and highlight? Yeah. This is the Rebel Eye Definer Liquid. Ooh, oh, this is gonna be a hard one. This is gonna be a hard one. Ay, ay, ay. This is the real test. Do I have a steady hand? Let's get that surgeon hand. Life is too short for unforgiving eyeliner. It's very wet. You have to make very perfect lines. I already tell I'm gonna have to go over this a few times. From using this, I'm reminded why I like the sort of pens and the uh, pots of eyeliner better. Difficile. Level of difficulty, an eight. I like my eyeliner to be like a five or a six. So this is our Lip Brilliance in Virgin. It's a little glossy thing, let's see what happens. Ooh, tastes delicious. Has like a mint chocolate flavor. It's not a very sticky gloss. You're not gonna get some flies stuck here. I've never been good with matte lips, as we also saw in the last video. Do I like it? Maybe I'm just a gloss girl. This is the highly anticipated Melt Cosmetics, which is co-founded by Laura Arellano, Mexican-American cosmetic artist who has uh, taken the world by storm. This is the, what Melt I feel like is known for. I don't know a lot from their website, from the things I read up. It seems like their stacks, their eyeshadow stacks are like the hotness. Oh, they all come apart with magnets. For some reason I thought it was like a hinge thing. I always go for browns and golds, sometimes some reds, and this one felt a little more adventurous, a little more fun. I have a picture online, determination, and a liberal arts degree, and we can do this. Hopefully I do well enough that we can just fast forward through all this footage. This is a look that uses every color, which is exciting. 
Because you know, you get a palette, it's 10 colors, and you use two of them till you die. This is fantastic. All y'all, shield your eyes because, ba bam! I got the golden ticket. I'm going to the chocolate factory. More than I will need in an entire lifetime. Throw some gold on it. Yeah, that's a nice sheen. I don't need it to be more intense. I just assumed it would be because it looks, you know, like the sun. We got the uh, kind of art deco style here and the bird of paradise over here. Yes, I have done this before. <gasps> um, 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 I feel like cutting them down, but is that like bad? I, they're too, they're too long. So we cut them in half, which I think is fine. People do that with lashes. They trim them down. You can use the other half later. We're just gonna put them as little wings. You know, more mascara to make it work. Have I messed up another simple beauty procedure? Perhaps. Uh, but that's what you came here for, right? See me fail. Last but not least, this is the Melt uh, Lip Duo. So this is a lip liner and a color which is great because I do not use lip liner, so let's give it a try. Nice kind of lavender-y color. Laying down the runway. Ooh, ooh, this is like a, it's darker than I thought. This might be, might be in the same water as last time. Oh, what? <sighs> I've done it again, folks. Once again, it is a kind of blue. I don't know why I keep wanting to look like Claudia during her autopsy, but apparently I do. Not knocking anyone that can rock this color. Is it quality again? Yes, yes, it's good, it's nice. Uh, am I hip enough to wear these colors? No, not really. Here's one last look at this. It's somebody's bag. Somebody loves it. So what we're gonna do, lip brilliance. Come here, virgin. A nice soft pink. That's all, we, that's all she wrote, that's all she needed. And here we have the final look. With Besame, Reina Rebelde, and some Milt, we've put together a lovely face. I, I feel hip, feel pretty. Thanks so much, guys. Truly, truly, thank you to the moguls that are making these beautiful products. Thank you ever so much for sharing them with us. Thanks for the beautiful packaging. Thank you for all the thought that goes into them. And thank you for being patient with me. It goes to you commenters as well. Be kind, because I have a fragile ego.